Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 2022. It is episode number two of our brand new Let's Play series. We are taking a an academy from nothing. We, we are going from the bare minimum with the lowest budget, and we are trying to climb our way up that ladder to develop the number one player in the world. And we are hoping this time around to do it with our Create a Player, which was a new feature added to this year's team. And that player, Gamer Universe, has already made some waves her very first tournament she is into the semi-final and she's playing an old favorite if you saw the series from last year isabella krieger was somebody we had on our team for a while uh, and developed and turned her into i think like a top 25 player in the world let's see if uni can get on past the semi-finals of this tournament I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't, but it is exciting that we have gotten this far already. Here we go. Right. First set underway, and we're just getting started. We are on the near side. If you have not seen the first episode no. here of this series, be sure to go and check that one out uh, as we introduce the academy, introduce the player, and our approach. But we are now active. Uh, we're taking an aggressive baseline tactical style uh, which is really what's seen us through the first couple of matches is we're, we're out playing opponents we're making mistakes because we're a brand new player without a lot of speed wow that was a great ball from Krager. Krager is actually heavily favored for this one so she is at a much higher level than we are at right now as she does claim game number one of course she did have service let's see if with service that we can get ourselves back in as that one goes long and we lead 15 love Oof. I thought we made a mistake on that one uh, positioning, but it was because the ball was long. Uh, and she recognized that before I did. That one goes long as well. And we lead, lead 40 love here with a great chance. Oof, double fault, though. Gets her back in. Again. Finally, there you go. Oof, good return. And puts us on the back heels. And she gets that point as well. And our cushion is... Uh, getting a little narrower at the moment that one goes long and there you go we have won a game at the very least it's one to one i will not be repeating this again and again and again and again but for the first couple of episodes anyway i cannot say this enough i love love the upgraded animations in this one it is just phenomenal 40 love right now our advantage oh that ball just hits the top of the net and squeezes over for the 13, point 14. and she gets back to back and now it is Second looking set. tight again game. double two fault games, and that's one. the game and we break it's two to one Love 15. all right let's go ahead and speed things up for the remainder of set number one uh we will go 15. just times two speed not triple uh but with service we get the job done, and it's three to one here in this first set. Chance to break, but she has clawed her way back in and won that fifth game to get back within one game of us. But with service, we get the job done yet again, and now lead four to two. Looking pretty good here in this first set. Better than I expected, as Krager is the favorite, and that first couple of points suggested that she was definitely the stronger player than us. Uh, she is going to likely win this game but we get back wow we've battled back from what 40 15 to draw even and take the advantage as she goes long we let that go between our legs and we win the first set six games to three we'll speed things up for at least the first four games and see where we're at we have service here as she's looking a lot better Krager, that is. Uh, but we battle back yet again and win that game. We are very resilient as a player uh, at this stage in our career, which is really good to see. Two to one. With service, though, she's going to sweep through, skunk us on that game to draw level. But with service ourselves, can we regain the advantage? And we do. It's three to two. 
That was four games, by the way. And we're, we break in that game, and it's four to two. With advantage. Folks, second set. Can we win the game? This would put us within one game of a semi-final victory. That's going to go just wide. It does. And we are at deuce. Level on the board. Going wide there. Coming back across. And that one's way out. That's one thing that you didn't really see in last year's edition. You didn't see those balls that missed a lot. It was always close. It was never wild. At least I don't remember it ever being wild. And maybe that was just because... <laughs> I, I only remember the later stages of our career. Oh, wow, that ball was so close. Uh, I thought it had just gone out, but they called it in. And Craig gets the point. Now we're battling down. She does have service. We do finally get on the board here in this one. <laughs> oh. Wow, those voices. All right, it's 30 40 now. We, we are on Game match point. And that was in! Woohoo! -hoo. Okay. 6 3, 6 2. We move on to the final. First round, we knocked off the three seed. This time, it's the four seed for a 30 level junior tournament. There's no quality opponents here at all. So it feels like every match is winnable. But is it though? She's gotten this far. There's there's gotta be a reason for it. Krager was definitely the better player, and yet we were met we managed to win that one. So let's see if we can keep that string going. First tournament, first win? I don't know. That's that's asking a lot. First tournament, first final? Dang, that's that's huge already. High return intensity. Okay, we will go for that. Balanced match, which means she is not as good as Krager was. So Krager was the best opponent that we went up against here. With the Ukrainian opposition, I might be rooting for our loss on this one, though. Just saying. Set. All right, we start this final off with some, some real concerns on the mental side of things as the pressure of playing in the final is showing. All four mental categories are 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 showing that she is a bit stressed out for this match uh, and we've already had two balls on the line go against us uh, in in the call department so uh, really unlucky on that part and we lose the first game uh, following up those first two points going against us nice Nice forehand there to uh, pull that across the court and get that point. But then we double fault ourselves. <sighs> Not exactly an ace, but equivalent of. Nice one. Good positioning to set ourselves up for that forehand to go weak side and get that one. And we've drawn level at a game apiece. That one into the net. Can't reach that one though. Wasn't even that dangerous of a ball. But that's that's the thing. At this level, just hitting it where the opponent isn't is often enough because they're just not there physically, mentally, don't react quickly enough to reach it. You know, it's not just about the technical skill. The physical mental is so huge. And so tactically, you can really, really exploit weaknesses of opponents by just Advantage. side to side hit it where they're not and that's why that's the tactical style that we have picked up and you know even with the best pros hitting it where they're not is always a good approach because you get them on their on their heels and that's going to put you into the advantage into the potential ascendancy but we do trail two games to one right now and that was an easy point for us but we hit it a little too long hit it where they're not as good and all but you've got to keep it in and that is one of our issues but we still put ourselves on the front foot and give ourselves a chance to win every match and so far have done exactly that but this opponent is definitely looking solid nice ball yes 
Great backhand down the line on that one, and it's 40-15. Great chance to draw a level in terms of games, and we do. Two to James two all. Four. Second service. Out. Fifteen low. Ooh. I think she was gonna play that one pretty easily anyway. From my angle, it looked like it was still in, but it was just long. Starting to work her on her heels, but we haven't really gained an advantage here. And we caught a lot of net on that one, and we trail 30 love. Double fault though, gets us back in, opens the doorway. I actually like that we're seeing a lot more double faults than you did in the last game. These players aren't good serving. They should be making those kind of mistakes. You should be getting aces as well when you do get it in because your opponent is just not as good on the return. I like that the, the attributes seem to really be showing themselves in the 3D match engine here of you know, your flaws, your strengths. Your, your flaws reveal themselves. Not every ball is this far above the net and driven hard. There's a lot of floated balls well above the net here. We scored on that one, even though the ball was a good foot over the net uh, as it went over. And that's just because we don't have the, the skill of so many other players. You know, in the world, the top end players. 30-15. Nice. 40-15. And after breaking on that last game, we have a chance to get ahead, and that's in. It's 4-2. to two. A two-game advantage right now is huge in this first set. Looking good. That one goes long? No, it was in. Second set. She just gets that second one in. It was a really good serve, by the way. But we've already started to get ourselves ahead. But that was a fantastic ball as she just gets that in on the corner. Ooh. Thought we were in on that one. Thought we had the point, but no, it goes out. She tries to attack the net, but can't get the ball she needed up over the top. And there's the game. It's 4-3. to three. I keep thinking she goes wide from this angle. You know, we're really seeing what our player sees. Uh, we're at the mercy of the umpire, who has called quite a few of those in, where we don't quite see where it lands. But definitely out of our reach. Her playing down the middle finally opened the doorway, and we exploit the corner and lead. And great serve on that one. 40-15. That one just out, but the second one is in. And the rally is on. Oh, unforced error. We had an easy point there, but we play wide. 40-30. And there it is. 5-3. One game away. That one just on the line. Good powerful ball. She got the advantage there and exploited it and eventually got the point. 15-all. We can't rally for terribly long here, so it makes sense. That's why 40, 15, chance to break and take the set. First set point. Nice. That's going to do it. Okay, we get the opening set, and we are halfway to our first title. Second set. Second set. Second set. That one's in the net, but we do get the second serve in, and we've got her on her heels, but we go right down the middle. Ooh, that one just squeezes over the net. That was so, so Second close. Set. We get the first point. That one into the net. Unlike the previous, this time Four. just Second into set. it. Right at the top. I have yet to see us hit the net and then have it 30, squeeze 50. over and score. We've had that one happen to us a couple of times. It'd be nice 50. to be on the giving end instead of the receiving end of that. But we lead 40-15 here game. in this opening one. She's going to go long, and that's game number one. Good start. Can we break to really set the tone here for the second set? Low. First point goes to her, though. Love 15. Now love 30. Out. I don't think we're going to get this. 
first Fault attempt at a break. We do get a point anyway. Fault. Second service. 1540. We're starting to get the upper hand in this rally. Ooh, she got us moving. Nice. Okay, now we've got the advantage, and there we go. With the forehand, pull it across, and we are still alive. Ah, the end of the net. Okay, one game apiece, but we are back for the service. Ooh, okay. That was net. Net ball. Nice. Okay, we're starting to get the upper hand here, and she goes long. It's 30-15. Net. Out, 30 all. Ooh, was that out? Boy, it sure 40, looked like it was 30. in for mine. Ace! Ace! 40-30. Good ball placement, but we react well. And we go long? No. No, that was in. That one was in. I thought that one was out, but it was in. We got that one to drop just in time. Ooh, she attacks the net. That's wide! Just wide. The... the edge of the ball may have just been touching the line uh, but the center of the ball was definitely well out well not well but you know out <laughs> Ooh. look at a break this time around oh great ball right down the line good serve there too but we instantly get on the front foot and we're attacking the net this is the first time i've seen us attack the net and we keep it in it's 30 15 here second set just long just in. We go long though, and it's 30 all. 40, 30. 30, 40. With the ace. Trailing. Come on. Be a really nice break. That's long. Back to deuce. We're level. Advantage. Wait! It finally went our way. We hit the net, and it bounced over to the other side. That would have been the game right here, but. We are at deuce. That's out. We give away the advantage. We're still in this. Come on. Let's make something from it. No, we don't. That was a great chance to break and get the advantage. But now with service, can we get the upper hand and go, go into the lead here? Looking good so far in this game. Uh, she's got us on our heels, though. But she goes long, and it's 40 love. Fold. Second set. Fold. That was going to be wide 15. anyway, and then the second one just misses. Oops. Fold. Animation second was a little set. off on there. Fold. 40, 30. Ouch. Double fault. Two points in a row, and we go from 40 love to 40 30. Game. And that's long. Just, just long. I'm still confused about that last one because it was very playable from where it was. That was a nice ball on the edge. You could see our first step was to the left. We thought it was going to go the other way. <sighs> We're celebrating the double fault. Okay, odd one, but I'll take it. 30-40. Can we get to do? No, we do. We do not. It's three all. Oh. Game's a piece. Nice one there. Second set. We've been fairly confident with service, and we've been right there trying to break her, so we're still looking the stronger player here in this second set, but at three games apiece, it is still very tight. 40 love, dominating this one. I think we're gonna get this game without giving up any points. Looks like it. She's getting the advantage now. This could go either way. And nice, nice little drop shot there, and it's 4-3. Love 15. And here is that what I'm talking about. We're we're already on the front foot. Ooh. Who, who called that out? Let's have a conversation. <laughs> Look good. Look good. I thought we were going up love 30. Back on the edges. 15 oh. 30. Okay. And then that one looked like it was out, but it was in. So we lead 15-30. There, that's 15, in. 15-40. Here is that chance to break. Second set. Big moment because this would put us game. right where we need to be. Five it's 5-3. We are one game away. We Four. have service. Balls in our court. 
We got the advantage. What can we do? We score the first point. Oof. Great return. And it... Ooh, that was in. That went just in. We, I think we sliced that just enough. It was felt like it was on the inside edge of the racket. And it had that reverse spin on it. Which it was going out. But then it just curved to go in. There it is. Game, set, match, title. Wow. First ever tournament. And we have won a 30 level tournament. Yes, it's a small tournament, but you gotta be kidding me. Winning right off the bat. Tactics were everything on that one. And where where would this have been a year ago for me as I had no clue what I was doing tactically because it, it had just been a couple decades since I'd really followed the sport and getting back in and a year of playing it and I'm feeling a little more confident. I actually finally watched a match uh, not long ago, Corey Goff. Uh, watched her playing and yeah I was I was better I, I know a little bit more about what's going on and getting involved in the tactics I I strongly firmly believe that this was a tactical victory it feels good to have that well we got a wild card invite to a tournament right away in week number two which I ended up accepting because we need to get our 20 tournaments in to get our bonus. And so I have accepted a couple of these to have us play a little more often. And that's put us up against a lot better opposition. I mean, we're talking about the number 45 junior player in the world is the number one seed here. And who we would potentially face in the round of 16. In the round of 32, not looking easy either. So this is probably going to be an early exit. And we're going to use the quick sim on this one as well, it says balanced. So we are better looking than I thought we would be. So I think we're going to be climbing up the rankings, at least in the top 300, pretty early on. And yes, that was a win. 6-1, 6-2. Comfortable. So again, the tactics. They only had 11 winners. Clearly playing defensive. We had 33 winners. And yes, we made some mistakes. But if you're hitting a lot more winners than your opponent, you're going to win more often than not. So the shape is excellent. Physical condition is top form, and now the morale is happy. So Universe is looking good, and her new ranking following that first ever tournament victory has jumped into the top 400 already. It's being labeled as a tough match, so Fodenel, the number one seed, is looking to be a much better player than we are. We're not going to play this one live. I don't think we're going to pull the upset here, and I'd be quite shocked if we do. In fact, I'd be a little upset if we do. I, I don't think we should be dominating already a 17 year old should beat us pretty comfortably and that's how it should be and we win six three two six six three looks like there might be some balancing issues here early on we shouldn't be able to win this the tactics shouldn't make this big of a difference right now being aggressive we had 48 winners to her 33 she was a much stronger player than us she should have been able to beat us pretty comfortably now the next couple of rounds are still the kind of matchups where they should be beating us pretty comfortably and i i figure somebody will at some point but if we're beating a, a top 45 player I, I i could see us climbing the rankings very very quickly and competing at the highest junior levels very early on uh, which isn't necessarily how it should be but of course as the players get better they will overcome they will adapt and they will be able to handle that we are playing an offensive tactic. Right now, this offensive tactic is a little bit OP at the low level. Next round, and it's another win, 6-1, 6-3, and it's fairly comfortable as a win. Uh, nothing, you know, they're not making the mistakes. We don't see a bunch of double faults, but for us, three aces and a double fault. But again, dominating with the winners. The four seed, 51st ranked player, and the best one left, which means if we do happen to get through this round, you would think we would be the favorite to win the final as we've already beaten two players in a row that were in the top 55 if we make that three in a row you figured we can beat somebody lower down again for me unfortunate to see that we are winning this easily so i'm not even going to bother to play this match i don't want to see us winning already at this level when we're just getting started i want to work my way up it is just the juniors, but I don't want to jump to number one in the junior rankings in just a few months. That's silly. Six three six zero. 
on to the final. And it's the 104 seed, so the lower one is the opponent for this one. Let's hope we lose. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. Okay, showing his tough match, so she's definite favorite. Is she, though? No. Okay. I, I hope we see an update soon that is going to fix the balancing a little bit because, yeah, it's too easy. I shouldn't have won this tournament. Well, following our early success, but primarily the turn of the month provided us with some income that exceeded our expenses, and we now have plenty of cash to make our first investment into the restaurant. We're going to spend 145 k to bring in 50000 a month. It does come with a cost, though, so it's going to translate to 43000 per month. It's going to take one month to complete. So quick and easy on that one, actually. I wanted to do training, but I accepted two 200 level tournaments. It turns out that they were weeks two and week three, and I had signed up for a tournament for week four. So uh, we're not getting much training in. We're, we're starting right off the bat four weeks, four tournaments to get our year going. Uh, I'm not going to accept any other tournaments for a little while, but it also looks like the 50 level tournaments are going to be too, uh, 30 level tournaments are going to be too easy. It looks like we should be competing at 200 level or above right off the bat if we already won one of these. Let's see if our second attempt at a 200 level can finally result in a loss. Uh, we have a top 60 opponent in round one. We're looking at a top 61 opponent for round two at the very least, if not a top 40 opponent, which would be slightly higher than what we faced in that first tournament. 6061, too easy. The one seed went out with a forfeit in the third set, it looks like, early third set, uh, while it was tied one set apiece. And we are, yeah, up against the 61st ranked player, which we handled those fairly easily last season, or last tournament, and so far in this tournament. And do so again here, 6-2, six, 6-2. Two, six, two. The quarterfinal is another wild card. I don't think our ranking means much at the moment. We're going to be much, much higher up here very, very soon. 6264, and we continue on into the next round. Two higher ranked opponents left, uh, but otherwise, from what we've seen, still looks pretty winnable. 6162, and we are into the final. And I'm not going to watch if, if this is too easy for us. Again, a, a loss would be welcome. We can't win every match. That's, that's not right. And we've won our third straight tournament in three weeks, including two 200-level tournaments. All junior stuff, but far too easy. Maybe it's just the, the lack of quality in the opponents. You know, they, they could be as bad as we are, but the tactical advantage we have is a bit much. Or are we behind the scenes developing crazy fast, even though we're not training? Just checking in, we've had no development over the last three weeks, so as we've been participating in tournaments, we are seeing our physical condition drop slightly, but otherwise uh, everything is stagnant. So in week four, we enter a 30-level tournament. Now, not only getting a seed, but the one seed. We've already climbed inside the top 200 in just three weeks. And we've finally taken a loss. Thank you, Aline Dex. First round, and we go down 6 4, 3 6, 4 6. They had more winners than we did. Uh, we had fewer unforced errors. No, no, no. Total unforced errors was pretty even 25 26. Uh, we just had a lot of backhand. Yeah, there it is. She so had the forehand errors. We had the backhand errors. Pretty balanced match 50 50. We won a single point more than they did, uh, but she won the points when it counted. We had seven aces to two double faults. He had one to five. We, we had a number of advantages that probably should have seen us through, but a very close match ended up in a net loss. Finally, I'm actually excited to lose uh, this early on in our career. We need to grow and develop, not be the best right off the bat. Two big things have already happened for us. Offensive baseline play, a few weeks of using it, has seen us grow and develop from kind of knowing it to being proficient at it. Uh, second thing is we are now at full satisfaction having easily achieved our goal. Uh, I'm still not sure what this MO is. Spending the rest of the week training 
has seen five attribute points gained, tactical skills, uh, natural fitness, agility, balance, and footwork, all increasing speed, uh, likewise gaining three quarters of a level, uh, even natural fitness going up quite a bit uh, during that one beyond. So end of January here is an evaluation of our finances. Uh, we're back up to 98,000. Now the business center, we spent 135K. So drop that down to 20 and there is your monthly expenses. And then here is the monthly income. We gained 5,000 in tournament winnings in that whole month. We had three tournament victories and uh, one tournament first round exit. That was two 200 level tournament victories. And we get 60% of the revenue share, but it's all junior tournaments. So it's very, very small winnings. So our money is not coming from suddenly being a good tennis player and really overperforming as we have so far. Our money is coming through the Youth and Scouting Center and the Business Center and the Sports Center. It is coming from the infrastructure. So let me be very, very clear, especially if you didn't see the Tennis Manager 2021 series, early on, your income is going to be all about whatever revenue you can generate from your infrastructure, not from tournaments. Now, as you get, you know, to top 50 players in the world that are participating in Grand Slams where there's huge purses, then yes, you're going to start generating some income from tournament, tournament winnings and from sponsorship deals. But until that stage, until you reach that stage, 95, 98, 99% of your income is going to be generated from your infrastructure, which is why I wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, whole, whole, wholeheartedly push. If you're going to play this game, focus on what's going to generate an income early on. You don't have to stay with that approach as long as I might. You can diversify whenever you want to. There's multiple ways to earn an income from the look of the infrastructure these days. But commit to building an income base early on so that you can generate revenue rapidly so that you can afford the upgrades that you want don't dig yourself a hole don't put yourself in debt early on build up your revenue and then you can recycle that into all those upgrades you want fairly rapidly so my, my approach was to, to get some strong mental and physical attributes early on, and you can see that there's a clear gap between those and the technical. We're going to bring the technical along slowly. We're not going to focus on it for quite a while. Again, the staff is one big reason for that, uh, but our focus right now is on the physical and just getting a little bit of the mental as we go along uh, in a minor way, but the physical is definitely going to overtake the mental uh, pretty soon we're gonna have a player who can reach the ball <laughs> what she does with it will depend on a number of factors but we want somebody who can reach the ball because that's how we're winning these matches right now we're just hitting the ball where they're not and they don't have the physical attributes and or mental attributes to reach it more often than not so winners are pretty easy we're not having to hit the perfect ball with a lot of power and right in the corner or right down the line or deep on the baseline after smashing it it's just hit it the opposite direction from where they're at and they will not be able to chase but the moment we get to the point where we can chase those down ourselves when they try to reciprocate and do the same thing to us we will be able to reach those balls and as long as we can keep them in play if they get us running, well, yeah, they'll score some points here and there because we're not great technically, but we can recover and then get on the front foot and start hitting it where they're not and they can't. So we'll have a, an advantage pretty early on, and that can get us well into a decent ranking at the world tour level, and we could probably do that while still a teenager. 
Five more attribute point gains this week. Forehand power went 100%. It went from a 5 to a 6. Uh, the natural fitness nearly leveled up, but the reflexes did, uh, as did the speed. So there is our first 10 attribute is speed. Anticipation also leveling up to reach 10. And focus reaches level 9. Uh, for those unfamiliar with the game, these are all out of 20, by the way. Third week since that last tournament, which does mean we are about to enter our next tournament. I've allowed myself training for two weeks at a time, but for us, we got three because we had that first round exit, which left the whole remainder of that week, giving us three weeks of training. I've also managed to, while training hard, but adding light training sessions so it wasn't too hard, I've managed to get us back to a 100% physical physical condition we're in good shape and the morale is beaming so we're looking really good entering the next tournament serve power and accuracy both went up i did i took one session and got a huge jump on those uh, spins and volley both going up by one and then you know another big climb in all the physical attributes this time it was natural fitness that got one training focused session and that went up 85 percent speed is the main thing i'm focusing on right now but since it's already pushed to double digits i'm largely training there but i'm starting to diversify just a little bit i want to get that one up to 13 to 15 before i really start focusing on other things uh, but there's so many early gains that we can get out of our player uh, that it shouldn't be ignored entirely just in favor of one attribute 30 level tournament one seed again 120th in the rankings uh, let's see if we perform a little bit better than the last time now that we have finally taken a loss i'm a little more accepting of if we go through and win this tournament than i was last time around we're not invincible uh, this is the first time though that we enter a match where it's labeled as easy so this is the first time we've actually been not only favored, but you know, heavily favored. 6-2, six, 6-4. Six, the winners were enough. The unforced errors, frequent. But when you are the, the trendsetter, pretty easy to claim the win overall. Second round labeled as easy as well. Let's see how this one goes. Lost the first set, but we did win 6-3, six, 6-1. Six, this is more like it. We're losing some sets. It's competitive, we're out playing, we're out doing them tactically, but we do have the potential to lose. Third round, another victory, 6-1, 6-3. The semifinal is the first time we even have what's considered a balanced match, but it is another win, 6-3, 6-1. Five double faults this time, not very clean. Fewer total winners, uh, but fewer errors. Surprising considering how aggressive we play that we didn't make too many mistakes. The final is against a 17-year-old who has built up some skill, not a lot of rank, as she's only 257, but she is the favorite for this one. She uh, is considered a tough match. We're going to have to be aggressive on the serve to get something over on her, apparently. She doesn't have a very good return. And here we go, into the final. Oh, First one that we've set. seen outdoor, hardcore. All right, we're going to play this one out here fairly quickly, though, as it's only a 30-level tournament. We've already claimed a few tournament victories here early on in our career, so it's not something I'm terribly invested in. Uh, it's, it's more the pull of the 3D match engine that has me interested in watching this at all. But we have won the first two games, but with service, uh, she was able to win game number three. But we're getting the service back. She broke us, so she draws level and has a chance to regain the footing and has and has won three straight games and we trail two to three. Again with service and again struggling, we draw a deuce, we get advantage and we draw a level at three games apiece, but she uh, very much has the upper hand on us at the moment. Zelensulia is the real deal. This is the first really challenge uh, we've seen in live matches where we're on the back foot a lot of the time and while we drew level at 4-4 she wins that next game we're finally having a comfortable one here no no see look at that we were 40 love and then barely pulled off the game victory to get 5-5 five, five. 
So we are pushing this thing to the brink, and we win. We finally break. It's 6-5. Can we steal the first set after looking to be on the back foot? It's set point. 40-30. Into the net. Deuce. Into the net on that one, and it's deuce. Advantage. Advantage. Not an ace, but equivalent of. I don't know why you don't get credited with Deuce. it when uh, they can't return the ball oh, that you played over sense. the net. Advantage. Oh, back to back mistakes, and oh, we've given sense. away the advantage that we had and given them the advantage now. Let's see, we're going onto Deuce. that front foot here, and we force the mistake, and she hits the net, and we're back to deuce. Second sense. We don't do wide on our. Advantage. We don't do well on our wide serves. Second Notice that a lot. We hit, hit the net a lot on those. But we have claimed set number one, seven five. Not easy, not easy, but we are on the front foot. And we now head into set number two. She does hold serve though in game three to keep herself alive in this thing, but by holding serve ourselves, we get back to that two game advantage at 3-1 and look to be trying to break again and we do it's 4-1 at this point you've got to consider us heavy favorites to win the set and the match and the it's the final so it would be the tournament title and we go up 4-1 with service we go 5-1 as we broke her again a second time and we now have match point Game. chance to break that goes long well long that wasn't even close and that's game set match seven five six one after a tight first set where we were on the back foot for a good chunk of it we came out on top and then that maybe the morale side of things saw us comfortably through the second set i'm going to joke with her i like that this is an option here i'm waiting for you on the court for some backhand repetitions no i'm joking go have some rest and that made her relaxed so that's good. To reiterate what I was talking about with the finances, 60% revenue of the tournament wins is $600 for a 30 level tournament. So this is not where we make our money. It is definitely coming out of the infrastructure. You can see we're back up to 179,000. Uh, I've got to remember what was our next upgrade that we were looking for after. I can afford the cold therapy room now, but it's less of a financial upgrade. Therefore, I'm gonna hold off one more month as we're you know we're close to that point anyway and get the balneo therapy uh, room which is going to come with a more than fifty thousand uh, dollar turnaround in terms of revenue and you know we're not far off from that now an extra fifty thousand a month think about how rapidly that's going to turn into other upgrades here's an upgrade that only costs twenty five thousand so the yoga meditation room would be done in half a month worth of revenue from the Bell Neo therapy room therefore makes perfect sense to go for the higher return and then we can get the cold therapy room soon after the extra 50,000 right especially if that's done in say a month I don't know it could be longer it's only a two upgrade sort of situation it could take months till that's done I don't know when it will be done but with that 50,000 we're talking about two and a half months to, to cover the upgrade here to get an extra 30,000 which just piles up piles up real quick uh, get some rapid rapid increases in your income and we could see a lot of these early upgrades just rolling through and not just the financials you know if we're that strong financially early on we can actually afford to get the ones that are useful to the development of the team all right, folks, that is going to do it for this episode, though. For the first three episodes of a series, it is incredibly important for a little algorithm boost. And we did a fantastic job. Community, you did a fantastic job uh, in the 2021 series of doing exactly this. And it saw the boost that made the series even happen. And it made this series possible. But for this series to have that same longevity, I do need you to take that quick second. Please drop below, click that like button leave any sort of algorithm comment and if you have not done so yet do please hit subscribe i'm decathlon gamer i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now